Hey, welcome back to Bible Bites. I was a flight attendant and I love to travel. I love to visit different areas, different regions of the world. Um, I love the way the different cultures um, dress different. I love the different foods. I just love everything about traveling. Um, it's just something about it that is so exciting and something that's different. And, um, and I just love it. Anyways, God made everything in this world, including different races, different cultures, different foods, and it's to be celebrated and not judged. But we have a lot of that going on today, a lot of judgment going on today. And God addresses that in his word. Jesus even addressed it while he was here on earth. And um, I would love to share what God's word has for this subject today. Stay tuned. All right, let's open the word to John 4, verse 4. Jesus is traveling from Judea to Galilee. And here we are starting at verse 4. He had to go through Samaria on the way. Eventually, he came to the Samaritan village of Zachar near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat wearily beside the well about noontime. Soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at the time because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised, for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew, and I'm a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Of drink? So I'm going to stop there. So what's interesting is my first question is, how did she know Jesus was a Jew? Um, obviously, it was either by the way he was dressed, maybe his accent, um, maybe just his appearance alone, maybe all three. But the fact is, she recognized Jesus was a Jew. She had no idea, you know, he was Jesus' Savior, but she did know he was a Jewish man. And the reason she was at the well at noontime, which was not customary, um, was because she lived in isolation because of her lifestyle. She um, was a woman that had many husbands, um, was just did not have a very good reputation. Um, whatever the case is, she went during noontime, so she knew she would be there by herself. And so it wasn't customary for um, Jews to even talk to Samaritans because Samaritans were a mixed race. Um, they were mixed from the lower um, class of Jews, and they were mixed with Assyrians who um, had conquered um, many of the Jewish different tribes. And so there was a lot of hatred from what they call the pure Jews um, towards the Samaritans. So this really stuck out to me because, you know, this is exactly what we're dealing with as far as just today with all the prejudice going on, with um, all the hate crimes that are going on. And it doesn't matter your race. There's always, you know, those ones that that just give a bad rap for the whole race. And, and it seems like we all kind of suffer from it. Um, you know, and Jesus here, you know, what I want to cover is, so Jesus, first of all, he was a Jewish man, pure Jewish man, talking to a Samaritan woman, which culturally was taboo. And also he stopped in Samaria where normally the pure Jews, when they were traveling from Judea to Galilee, they would go like around Samaria because they hated them so much. They didn't even want to go near them. So they would literally go around the long way to get to Galilee. And Jesus didn't. He just went straight through because he wanted to have this appointment with this woman. And the things that God will do in, in those um, moments that are so unexpected for us, but, you know, God has appointed times, you know, in our lives that he's put people in our path to speak truth and to speak life and to give us living water, which is his word. And that's exactly what Jesus was doing. He was crossing over every cultural barrier, every like historical 
um, you know, traditions. I mean, the hatred towards the Samaritans had been going on for hundreds of years, you know, and it's like, we can so relate to that. I mean, even here, you know, today, we still deal with so much prejudice against other cultures with other religions. And even like within your same race, I mean, there's different cultures, even in your same race. And, you know, you can judge that. And Jesus is like, this is not what I came for. I came. I Matter of fact, I made every race. I made every culture. Every one of us are, you know, we're a child of God and he loves each and every one of us the same. He doesn't love one race more than he loves another race. He died for all people and for all sin. And here Jesus is. He is crossing through and over and knocking down all the tradition, um, traditional ways, barriers, culture, everything to make a point and to reach this one woman. And so if it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for us. You know, the reason why we should be um, upholding the same standard. So when you are feeling led by God to reach out to somebody who may look different than you, may act different than you, may have a, a, a lifestyle that is horrible. I mean, this lady lived in isolation because of her lifestyle and Jesus reached out to her. So it doesn't matter what the lifestyle what culture, what race, there is nothing that should keep us from sharing the gospel with anybody. And Jesus led by example. So here we are, and we are supposed to follow that. And if, you know, if there's something in your heart that convicts you in this area, you know, lift it to God and and just ask God, you know, help me deal with this. Help me find the root. Does this come from tradition? Does this come from a bad experience I've had maybe? Um, Whatever the case is, lift it up to God and ask Him to help you walk through this so you can be free from it. Um, I just hope this is encouraging to you. I hope, you know, this just sheds a little light on, you know, how we should act, what we should do, and realize there's no borders, there's no culture, there's no tradition, there's no race um, that doesn't deserve to hear the good news. So I appreciate for you, appreciate you um, tuning in and hope you hit subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.